Hey guys, welcome to Sweet Assembly where I show you how to assemble your baby gear. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Evenflow Every Kid car seat. I'm going to go over all of its features. I'll show you how to convert it between its different modes. And lastly, I'll show you how to take off the cover so that you can clean it. In part two of this video series, I'm going to show you how to install the car seat into the car. When that video is ready, I'm going to link it down below in the description box. I'll also leave it in the annotations and I'll leave it at the end part so that you can watch it next. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified. Okay, now into the video. We're gonna go over the layout of the items first. First item is the car seat itself. Second item is the booster base. Third are the cup holders for your beer. Uh, I mean, the baby's milk. Fourth is the head pillow. Fifth is the body pillow. And last is the shoulder belt clip. Now we're gonna assemble the car seat. The first step is to put in your beer holders. The holders have two divots that stick out. You line them up with the slots on the sides of the seat and press them on. Next, you put the head pillow on by putting the Velcro on the pillow through the slots on the sides of the headrest. Don't do what I did here, where I put the pillow on upside down. Do it with the Velcro of the pillow on top, so it doesn't keep flopping down like mine is doing. Learn from my mistakes. Now, we put in the body pillow. Just put the crotch buckle through one of the holes of the pillow, and put the shoulder straps over the pillow. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Wait, is squeezy even a word? Let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to give you a rundown of all of the features. The first is the headrest can be adjusted to different heights by pressing the top lever and pulling up or down according to the height of the baby. Next, the back pad can be adjusted at different heights too by unfolding and holding the pad. To loosen and tighten the shoulder straps, you have to press the button at the front of the seat. When tightening, press the button and pull the strap at the bottom. To loosen, press button and pull on shoulder straps. Easy peasy, well, you get the idea. This is the tether strap and hook. You can unhook it from the side and use it to secure the seat to the car. These are the anchor hooks. To release them, you pull on the red string. Then you hook both of them to the anchors in the car. These are the rear-facing lock-offs. That's it. This is the level line. You'll use this to properly level the seat when in rear-facing mode. The line has to be parallel to the ground. Throw back to geometry. These are the front-facing mode lock-offs. Mm -hmm. And 
this is the base. Now I'm going to show you how to convert the seat between all of the modes. The first one is the rear facing mode. You'll have the head and body pillow in depending on how big your baby is. At the bottom you'll find the recline handle in order to you guessed it, recline the seat to the correct level when in the car. Good job. Next mode is the front facing mode. You won't need the head and body pillows at this point since babies grow too dang fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll hold it together. Okay. With the handle on top of the headrest, you can adjust it to suit your little's height. The seat will also be upright, no recline necessary. Next is the high back booster mode. First thing you have to do is hide the crutch buckle so it won't hurt your little one's bum. To do this, you lift the panel on the seat to find a release handle. Lift the release handle and pull up on the seat base to remove it from the back. Then, if you look at the bottom of the seat, you can see the end of the crutch buckle. To remove it, you move the end vertically and slip it through the hole. Then connect the end of the crutch buckle to the bottom of the seat by slipping it through the slot. Side note, to adjust the position of the buckle, slip the end out from the bottom hole and slip it through the top hole. Next, we line the seat with the back, making sure the shoulder straps are pulled out of the way of the seat, then push the seat back on. Now, lift up the headrest and insert the shoulder straps behind the back pad. Then, hold the shoulder straps through the holes on the back and snap the buckles on. Remember to loosen the straps completely and adjust the headrest to the right position before doing this. I forgot the first time and couldn't buckle these things together for the life of me. Learn from my mistakes. And that is how it looks at the end. Lastly, we have the backless booster mode. We, we remove the seat from the back again. Then release the anchors on the sides. Then reach through the flap on the seat and pull the anchors out. Now you can throw the back in storage. Next, you put the shoulder strap clip on. You slip it through the bar on the back of the seat and back through the loop of the strap. Clip this on the shoulder strap of the car's seatbelt so it doesn't cut on their neck. To strap baby in, you can put the shoulder straps on these buckle hooks on the sides. Then put baby on the seat, buckle the shoulder straps on, then connect them to the crutch buckle, pull on the harness strap until the harness is snug on the baby.
make sure there is no slack and the chest clip is on the baby's chest, not their neck or their stomachs. Then to free the baby, just unhook the chest clip and the crutch buckle. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the covers in order to clean, because we're all too familiar with bodily fluids now. How can such a small body release so much? I'll never know. Anyways, to remove the headrest cover, you pull the headrest up all the way. Then at the back, you'll see two elastic straps. Release those elastics. Start pulling the cover down, then release the elastics from the strap hooks on the side and pull off completely. Then to take out the back cover, slip the tether strap through the hole on the back cover. Start pulling the cover off, unhook from the sides and take Velcro off, removing the cover completely. Lastly, to remove the seat cover, unhook the sides, then disconnect the elastic straps at the back of the cover where the panel is. Then slip the crutch buckle through the hole. Then disconnect the snaps on both sides at the front of the seat cover and lift the cover off. You'll probably have to do this so often, it'll become second nature to you. If only this skill could come in handy in a cover taking off race or something. Someone should make this into a sport. Make it happen. There you have it folks. That's how you assemble the Evenflow Every Kid car seat. Next you can watch part two where I show you how to install the seat into the car. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment down below to let me know. Finally, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to look through them and respond when I can. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and see you in the next video.